The only state in the country with a unicameral, a one house legislature. Nebraska Senator Steve Erdman wants Nebraska to join the rest of the country and change the unicameral to a two house legislature. John Chapman reports on the discussion. U.S. Senator George Norris traveled around the state of Nebraska in the 1930s, making an argument to voters that Nebraska should move from a two house legislature to a one house legislature. And that if we did that, uh, there would be benefits in terms of being able to have a nonpartisan elections and b saving a lot of money because he was arguing we're a small state and we really don't need a uh, two chamber legislature. But Senator Steve Erdman disagrees with Norris. He wants to change the state's constitution and the way Nebraska lawmakers do business. We have lost representation in the rural parts of the state because the population is moving east. What we're trying to do is make sure that the representation is not only across the state, but it's also by geography. Erdman believes the unicameral is outdated and needs to change. There was one person in attendance who agreed. We have seen how this system works. It no longer works for the people. Um, and prime examples of that are this session alone. About a dozen people showed up to disagree with Erdman's proposal, saying a second house in Nebraska is not necessary. But the people are the checks and balances, the second house. Unicameral procedures are easy to follow, giving the press greater privileges and allowing greater public awareness. We live in a red state, blue state world. Since 1937, Nebraska has at least symbolically shown the rest of the country that being nonpartisan as an identifier can diminish some of the political ill will that may occur. Many against the measure talked about the history of the unicameral and how a change would take Nebraska's identity as the only unicameral in the country away. We would obviously lose that identity, but how many people really think of us as being that state? A lot more people remember us as being the state that divides its electoral college votes. UNO political science chair Dr. Randy Atkins says going back to a two-chamber house would be a big change for the state, would cost the state more money to operate, and he argues it could possibly make Nebraska politics more partisan. And that may be what some of the supporters want, is to create a system that's less efficient, where it's easier to stop legislation because legislation has to be passed not in one chamber, but in two chambers. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. The board of the Unicam reported there were 42 position comments written in support of Senator Erdman's proposal, 38 written comments against.